Okay, we're about to decode some bad liar, and in order to avoid the copyright strike, I won't be putting probably 75 to 8% of it in here. I'm just show you a few highlights and let you watch the video for yourself. From the very beginning, it starts out with this dragon, and this is confirmation of Loch Ness Mother Revelations Confirmed. When I was standing at the Salt Lake County Courthouse building filming these dragons all over the side of the Salt Lake County Courthouse and Grim Ghost Tour shows up to say that the reason those dragons are on the side of there are because the early settlers in the Mormon Va uh, in the Utah Valley saw a lake monster and then she says not all lake monsters look like Loch Ness. Ergo I titled that one our Loch, Loch Ness Mother Revelations Confirmed. Because prior to that video, I had explained how our mother had been turned into a monster. So it starts out right from the beginning, depicting right there. You see it? And let's not forget that the name of the band who sings this song and all of the others that seem to resonate with me so loud and clear is called Imagine Dragons, and apparently they're Mormon. So I would suggest watching all of their music videos because I just got back from the museum where I showed that black and white checkerboard floor and the Year of the Masks decoded or laid out by who I referred to earlier before I saw that as the Ladies of the Eastern Star, Order of the Eastern Star, as the female division of the Masons. And the uh, Relief Society is what they call the female division of the Mormons. The male is priesthood, the female's Relief Society. And that's who does all of that quilting, And a little shout out to Passing By 33 YouTube channel. He did say that all this stuff about the mask, keep your mask on, keep your mask on, is referring to the persona, a false self-identity. And like I've said, they will see it in the others, but not in themselves and tear each other apart when the masks come off and everyone is revealed for their true colors because you're all bloodline, not some special 13 families all of you are bloodline. But some will see it in the others and not in themselves. That's why the parable says, remove the beam from your own eye before you go trying to remove it from your brothers or then you will be able to see clearly to remove the moat from your brothers. It doesn't say remove the moat from your eye. It says remove the beam from your eye. And so remember now that that painting with the black and white checkerboard floor, kind of like this White House, Illuminati confirmed, is titled Year of the Masks. So this song starts out, Hush my dear, it's been a difficult year. And terrors don't prey on innocent victims. And that's what I've been saying this whole time. Those with greater amounts of shame wear the mask and go along to get along and took their vax. Terrors don't prey on innocent victims. Trust me, darling. And so, like I said, I'm not going to show all the lyrics, but it starts out with this girl. She takes her ship out to sea, which is a theme in almost every single Imagine Dragons video, music video, both in the lyrics and in the imagery. And the images, as they say, a picture tells a thousand words. So she takes this out to sea, and by the end, she's face to face with this dragon, our Loch Ness mother. And she gives this dragon her charm that you see from the very beginning there. There is also a second video that I'm just going to give a real brief decoding to of this same song. And it's talking about how the feminine Holy Spirit is trying to get your attention your whole life. This is the very next scene and the very next lyric. I haven't skipped anything yet. It's been a loveless year. Maybe, like I said about that painting, in her description and explanation, she said, 
I started this quilt, I'm sorry, quilting, not painting. I started this quilt long before COVID, which implies that one had nothing to do with the other because surely no one could have seen this coming, right? Right? And if they did and knew this was coming and orchestrated and coordinated and were in on it, then such lyrics in a song would be appropriate. It's already said it's been a difficult year and it's been a loveless year. And that painting was titled Year of the Masks. And before I really saw and understood that painting... I was showing you the images at the museum within one of these quilts of this very dragon that we're about to check out. You seeing some pieces starting to fit together here? Not all the lyrics have I truly decoded and have a full understanding of, but it says I'm a man of three fears, integrity, faith, and crocodile tears. The next lyric says, so look me in the eye, and to that extent I will include Calio, down we go, and one of the main lyrics in that is... Do you dare to look me right in the eye? And the chorus is, Oh, Father, tell me, do we get what we deserve? And way down we go. These musicians are tapped into the same spirit as those who paint and quilt the spirit of the muse. And they've been laying it down for us for a long time for those with the eyes and ears. Do you dare to look me right in the eye? Oh, no. Tell me what you see. A perfect paradise tearing at the seams. I wish I could escape. I don't want to fake it. That coincides with the year of the masks and the masquerade quilt that says it's exhausting to fake it. I wish I could erase it, make your heart believe, but I'm a bad liar. And that comes into play here in just a second. Because once you know, you're free to go, because I'm a bad liar. And then it shows her ship on the stormy sea. That's the storm that rages inside of you. We'll talk a little bit more about this later, because the fury and the anger that I have, I can utilize it at a time of my choosing And not be pushed around by those emotions. Other people say, oh no, fear and anger, that's not good. To restrain your anger and just bottle it up, that's how it comes up and pushes you around. Unless you face your fear, you cannot utilize those waves of emotion and be empowered by them, only be overpowered by them. We'll talk more about that a little later. Now she's out there on these stormy seas and you start to see the dragon here and there. And she gets knocked off overboard by a lightning bolt. Then it says, now you know, you're free to go. Wage my war on the world inside. I take my gun to the enemy's side. That's the exact same sentiment as is being portrayed in the song Bad Wolf by AWOL Nation. The enemy is a friend of mine in a friendly place I can see. It's talking about that war inside of you. The name of the song is Bad Wolf. You know, the the good wolf and the bad wolf, the angel on one shoulder, the devil on the other. They're both inside of you. So as long as you continue to wage war against half of yourself, it's like waging war against your right hand. And by telling you these truths, I've been asking for problems. Now her ship is all tore up and they start to put the lyrics right here on the dragon. And now you know that I'm a bad liar. And now you know. And you're free to go. Hmm. That sound familiar? And then it says, I can't be what you want me to be. Again, with the masquerade, the year of the masks painting. I can't be, can't be what you want me to be. This is where the dragon starts to circle her. Maybe I'll just try and show you some of this and hope I get away with it. 
So the dragon starts to circle her, and they throw the uh, lyrics on the dragon. Believe me. I'm a bad liar, so now you know and you're free to go. Remember, this god don't lie. How many times did I say that? At least a few hundred? And right here at the end, she comes face to face. With the dragon. And gives him her heart. This is another music video by Imagine Dragons of the same song, Bad Liar. And it shows this girl walking around in Earth School, is what it's depicting. And she sees this guy in suspended animation. And she starts to try to get his attention at first in more, more subtle ways. And by the end, she's done everything she can to try to get his attention. And then she allows his vessel to collapse because he's not sleeping. He's dead. And it's all being depicted at a school scene. Earth school. Remember me saying, get your cap and gown on. It's time to graduate earth school. I'm going to get mine. You can get yours if you want. And she's trying to get his attention just like the Holy Spirit's been trying to get your attention your whole life. First in more subtle ways, then in more obvious and less subtle ways. This is actually the first time I noticed this part. What is this, the school mascot? I just took a screenshot. I'll zoom in a little later, and we might see it again. That's the first time I noticed it just now while I was watching on this run through. What does it look like to you? Like a seraphim? Right? Like the serapium, serapis, has a Jesus head and a serpent body. Serapis. It's where they took all of the Library of Alexandria after it was burned down. By all those good Christians. The remnants of the knowledge of the Library of Alexandria went to the Serapium, a temple dedicated to Serapis. About halfway through, she sees if maybe she's having any luck if he's coming back to life. Nope. Still no signs of life? No. Nope. And finally, after extensive attempts and all of her effort she spent to try to get his attention, she releases him from his vessel because just like after the last year, when you beat people in the head so many times and they don't flinch, they're not sleeping. They're dead. So she releases him from the vessel. <laughs> 